The topic of this video is how to find intercepts algebraically. That is, if all we know is the equation of the graph, how can we find the intercepts? Recall that the intercepts are points where the graph crosses the x-axis and points are of the form some number and zero. Algebraically, this means that we will let y equal zero and solve for x. Again, our answer for those x-intercepts are going to be some number and zero. The y-intercepts are points where the graph crosses the y-axis. So to solve for these algebraically, we will let x equal zero and solve for y. Again, points will be of the form zero, some number. We'll do a few examples. Part A is to find the x and y intercepts of 4x minus 3y equals negative 12. I like to do this in a chart. You don't have to do it in a chart, but if we let x equal 0 and solve for y, we would get 4 times 0 minus 3y equals negative 12. So negative 3y equals negative 12. Dividing by negative 3 gives us y is equal to 4. Then if we let y equal 0 and solve for x, we get 4 times x minus 3 times 0 is equal to negative 12. So 4x equals negative 12. Dividing by 4 gives us negative 3. So we find here that the x-intercept is negative 3, 0, and the y-intercept is 0, 4. For y equals x squared minus 9 in part b, we can do a similar calculation. We can let x equal 0 and solve for y. So if x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 0 squared minus 9. So y is equal to 0 minus 9 or just negative 9. If we let y equal 0 and solve for x, notice that we get x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation we can solve by the square root property. That is, if we set x squared equal to 9, we can apply the square root property that says x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. So the x-intercepts of this graph would be 3, 0, and also negative 3, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, negative 9. Part C is the equation y equals the square root of x plus 2. So we can let x equal 0 and solve for y. So y would be equal to the square root of 0 plus 2 which is just the square root of 2, which is approximately 1.4. Then if we let y equal 0 and solve for x, we get the equation square root of x plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a square root equation. We can solve this by squaring each side. Recall that the square of the square root of x plus 2 is just x plus 2. 0 squared is 0. So now we subtract 2 from each side to get x is equal to negative 2. And recall, you do have to plug that in to make sure it's not an extraneous solution, which it is not. So the x-intercept for this particular graph would be negative 2, 0. And then the y-intercept is 
exactly 0 square root of 2. If we want to approximate, that would be 0, 1.4. Part D, we have the equation y equals 1 divided by x minus 4 plus 2. So we can let x equal 0 and solve for y. In this case, y would be equal to 1 divided by 0 minus 4 plus 2, which is just a negative 1 fourth plus 2. And getting a common denominator of 4, 2 is equivalent to 8 divided by 4. So negative 1 fourth plus 8 fourths is 7 fourths. Then if we let y equals 0 and solve for x, we set 1 divided by x minus 4 plus 2 equal to 0. Now if we want to, we can clear fractions by multiplying each term by x minus 4. And so that would give us 1 plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Combining like terms, we get 2x minus 7 is equal to 0. Adding 7 to each side, we get 2x equals 7. So x is 7 halves. So our x-intercept is 7 halves 0. And the y-intercept is 0, 7 fourths. And one last example. y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. So if we let x equal 0, y is equal to 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3, which is just negative 3. And then if we let y equal 0, we set x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve by factoring if it factors, which in this case I believe it does. We have the factors of x squared or x and x. The factors of negative 3 whose sum is negative 2 would be negative 3 and plus 1. So setting these each to 0, we get x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So that gives us positive 3 or negative 1. So our x-intercepts are negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So algebraically, finding the y-intercept to me is the easiest, right? We're just substituting 0 in for x and simplifying. Finding the x-intercepts requires us to solve different types of equations depending on what equation we're given. So it might be necessary for you to review a few of those methods, but let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.